Hi, this is Anna, and this is Check It at the Round Table. We discuss movies, books, music, and stuff. Today we're discussing what went wrong with Tan Han Chan Lati. Okay, this is the new Thai BL series by GMM TV, which normally I really do like GMM TV shows. I mean, I do. But this one, I thought maybe I was misinterpreting. I thought, you know, maybe they didn't have a lot to work with here. Maybe the original book had these issues in it. But I found the homophobia of Tan in this series very disturbing so far. I mean, I'm really hoping from episode seven on, they pull a rabbit out of their hat on this and really change this. Because, you know, the way that Tan relates to everyone in this series, I mean, you know, Aside from the fact, I mean, I'm not even talking about if Tan and Chan Lati get together. That really is not the point here. The point is, is even just from a friend level, the way that he treats his two roommates and the way that he treats Chan Lati, not even knowing that they're homosexual, but simply in his anti-gay discussion and his big, I don't mean it word, macho anti-gay talk, which, no offense, I've always figured if you're that way, then you really need to go get some serious help. But I thought maybe this was part of the original book because I don't read Thai and I'm really not into Thai BL novels anyway. So it's not something that I would really study out. However, I was on YouTube this week and some person who had already read the episode, read the novel, made a video on why they didn't like the GMM TV series. And, you know, it was one of the few videos I have seen that is a review on the series versus the, you know, book that actually made quite a bit of sense. I also loved, even though I can't read Thai, how they put in the excerpts from the book to show what exactly this part of the book discussed. And so you could see the differences, the similarities. In the original book, Tan Han is not freaked out by homosexuals at all. He does not treat them poorly. Um, he does not do any of this. The video I'm actually going to drop into this description so everyone can re watch it if they like. It's by B-Y-U-L-S-A-R-A-N-G. It's had 53,000 views already. The thing that I really liked about this one is it really does show how in the book, Tan Han he was not having any trouble with homosexuals. He knew that his roommates were a couple and had been for years. When Chan Lati comes to live with him, he does not know Chan Lati is homosexual, but he is not rude to Chan Lati at all. He's not this big egocentric, basically jerk, who I'm not going to use the word I'm thinking, but you can all imagine it, okay? And anyway, I just have been finding it really hard. The other thing that I really, really do not like about the Tan Han Chan Lati series is the fact that Chan Lati is almost molested by a senior during the initiation ceremony when they go to go have drinks afterwards. This is something which, I mean, I know that this is a topic that does occur, but the fact that this didn't show up in the book at all, as the person who made this video pointed out, and the fact that they added it in for dramatic effect, and that this was actually not even in the book, and that the fact that the girlfriend of Tan Han, although not, you know, maybe likable, wasn't doing this kind of depravinous thing to try to hurt someone in this way, you know, that is something I'm like, GMM TV, why did you have to add that into it? Don't we have enough people who are treating, you know, being homophobic, being bad people? And, you know, isn't there enough scenes about molesting people already on here? Do we have to add another one where it wasn't even in the book? I think this is one reason why I'm very dissatisfied with this series overall. I almost did not review this series, but I personally am keep hoping that perhaps they will turn it around. But even if they do, this isn't one that I would rewatch. I would really give this one probably maybe a two out of 10 because of my feelings on this whole series, because of the unnecessary homophobia, because of the unnecessary evilness of Tan's ex-girlfriend, and because of the unnecessary addition of the scene involving the po almost molestation of Chan Lati. This is just stuff that we do not need to have in a BL series, especially since this was never included in the original book. I really personally don't see why GMT MTV felt that this was necessary to add in, as most people who like BL 
I do not think would like this part of this show at all either. So I don't know if they're trying to hit a new niche market to try to bring in people to watch BL who normally wouldn't. But for those who are familiar with BL, I'm thinking most of them would have the same problems with this that I do, just because we don't really like people being, you know, overtly homophobic. And we don't really like to have people being molested in shows when it wasn't even in the book. I'm going, you know, this doesn't serve a purpose. It doesn't help the storyline. It just adds dramatic effect. And really, isn't there enough drama in this life without adding more to it? Um, I am hoping that they pull a rabbit out of their hat and do make this series better as it progresses. I do find it interesting that Tanhan and Chanlati, Tanhan actually means navigator and Chanlati means sea. So basically the sea navigator is what their names mean together, which I think is kind of a cool idea. I think this could have been a super uber fun series. But the fact that they've put in innuendos, that they've done all the things I've already mentioned, which I'm not going into again, has made the show so it's rather just kind of sucky. And, you know, I don't really say that about most shows, and I normally wouldn't even do a review on this. But I watched this video this, this weekend, and I was like, that's why I'm having such trouble with it. I don't know why sometimes I need to have a bit of a lens put on so I can figure out what it is that really bugs me about this show. And you, I am going to finish reviewing it. Okay, for those of you who have listened to reviews before, we will finish putting up these reviews. Because I do, I am curious to see if they're going to make it better or worse. And if it gets uber worse, Anna's just going to quit the series. I mean, no offense, I'm all for reviewing for the sake of reviewing, but... I do have my limits, and sometimes I reach them. But in this case, I just thought I'd put this episode out there because I'm sure that there are some other people who are watching the show and who do not read the Ty BL series and go, is this how the book was? Um, okay. But, you know, and some people might not care at all. But I thought, you know, after watching that video, this seemed like a good moment to make a review just about the differences between the book and the movie from that video that that person was kind enough to add to YouTube because I really was like, you know, this show looked super cute from the previews. I mean, it looked absolutely hilarious. I, I love the two characters from the Together series, although I have not seen them in that series. I've just seen clips of them and they're absolutely hilarious. But the whole addition of all the content that didn't need to be there, including Miriam, which um, Mary was not in the show. None of that whole deal was in this show. I just really don't see the point of. And, you know, I'm sure that some people enjoy it because it has that content. But I think most people that like BL drama probably don't enjoy that. And again, I'm just leaving this for you because I'm going, wow. That was interesting, and thank you so-and-so for putting that up for us. I will drop a link into the description of that clip of that video so that you guys can watch it and see the differences as well. And, you know, I will be dropping a link to my discussion on Tan Han Chanlati the next episode, as well as episode three and seven, because I haven't done those podcasts yet. But that is my review of why I don't like Tan Han Chanlati. I really thought I was going to enjoy this. I was waiting for this one to come out. I thought, yay, this will be awesome. But quite frankly, it's been nothing but a big disappointment. And, you know, I think that the actors, you know, I have no problem with their acting. They're excellent actors, but I just think they were given really lame material to work with. And when you're given lame material, it's really hard to do anything with that material. And so that is my review of why I didn't like Tan Han Chamati. With that on out, check it at the round table. Bye.